Yo, what's really good, my people? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this one. So, the opening statements in the Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion, Stallion trial were today. And from what I'm hearing, from what they're reporting, it got pretty crazy in there. Now, first off, I want to give a shout out to academics because I've been watching and kind of following this case as it unfolded through academics. He's been kind of keeping people up to date on what's been happening, why they're doing such and such to Tory. So all the back and forth that's been going on in social media between Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and the third woman, and even the the, 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 the prosecution, why they're trying to like slate. He's been on top of all of it. And he, his story is pretty much what the defense is saying happened. Now, Academics claims that he he had gotten first hand account, uh, first hand knowledge. He has first hand knowledge of what happened, and what he said is pretty much spot on. Kylie Jenner was throwing a pool party. She invited Meg Thee Stallion. Tory Lane shows up later. Now Meg Thee Stallion is there with her friend, who was in the car when all this stuff happened and whatever, whatever. Unbeknownst, well, they're they're, they're at the pool party. Tory Lanez gets there. He starts talking to Kylie. He's in the pool with Kylie. He's talking to her. Looked like he was trying to get his little swerve on. And Megan Thee Stallion, being that she was... she, Her and Tory Lanez were getting it in. Felt some type of way about Tory. Kind of she felt disrespected because she's and under the impression that Tory's like, you know... She thinks that she's the shit and whatever. But Tory seen Kylie Jenner, who is way better than her, and shot his shot. As he should. She felt some type of way. She starts acting out. She starts acting out to the point where Kylie starts seeing, oh, this girl's crazy. She asks the security to tell her to leave. So they all leave now. She cock blocked Tory Lanez on Kylie Jenner. They all leave. They get in the car. Her friend is trying to be consoling to Megan Thee Stallion or whatever. Or she's trying to back her up. Unbeknownst to the friend now, Tory is hitting the friend off too. He's hitting the friend and Megan the Stallion. But the friend is under the impression that she, he's not messing with Megan the Stallion. She thinks that she's messing with Tory. She don't know that Megan's been going behind her back the whole time and fucking Tory too. So now Tory's in the car, they're all in the car, they're all arguing and da, 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 and then Tory drops the bomb and says, I don't know why you back it, like to telling the friend, I don't know why you're backing her up or you're so upset about me doing whatever I'm doing. She been taking dudes from behind your back the whole time. She did you you me and you been getting it in and you didn't know that she was she's she's me and her been getting it in too. Not to mention he said that the friend was fucking with Ben Simmons, a known basketball player that plays for the Brooklyn Nets. And Megan Thee Stallion went behind her back and started fucking Ben Simmons too. Then she said, he said, you were fucking with the baby. Megan Thee Stallion went behind your back and was fucking the baby too. Like, Megan Thee Stallion, <laughs> she is what she is, man. I mean, it is what it is. Now, the prosecution is just saying basically cut and dry that Tory Lanez, you know, got into an argument with Megan Thee Stallion after they left the party. She was in the car. She insulted him, said, oh, you a bum? Like, ah, you can't rap or whatever. Tory Lanez pulls out a gun and starts shooting at her feet and telling her to dance. Dance, bitch, dance. That's their whole case. That's what they're saying. That it's all that. That's, that's what happened. That's, that's you know, this beginning, the, the beginning and the end of it. The defense is saying what I just told you, not to mention that there's, a, there's another witness, an eyewitness that witnessed Megan Thee Stallion and her friend that she was with, with and at the party, scrapping, fighting <gasps> outside of the car. And then shots went off. And apparently they found gun residue, gun powder on the friend, some on Tory. But if you're close, put it like this. If you're close, if you're within arm's length of a gun shooting and all that, it's a, it's a possibility you're going to get some sort of, you know, little bit debris on you. If you're really close, especially like maybe you're trying to break something up and the gun goes off or whatever, you're right there. So look, 
There is all type of reasonable doubt in that fucking case and in that story that I just told you. But I really got to give a shout out to academics because he's been on top of this since day one. He's been spitting the truth. Nobody really knew. He was telling us that this was, you know, the story that's being done at all. But he couldn't really go into it because the, the court case wasn't going on. But now that we're hearing it firsthand from the defense and the, they were hearing the defense's story and the prosecutor's story. It's going to get crazy. This is going to get real crazy. It's going to get real graphic. It's going to get real ugly. I don't know what happened. I err on the side that I don't think Tory Lane shot her. I really don't. I don't think that Tory Lane shot her. I think that, you know, whatever happened, I just don't think that he shot her. Do I know for sure? No. But the facts are going to come out in this case. We're going to see. But if it comes out that he didn't shoot her and she was trying to destroy his career for whatever reason because she was mad that he was trying to fuck Kylie Jenner, like, that's some real cold-blooded shit. And, you know, I'm not going to put that above her or, or, you know what I'm saying, like, say that she wouldn't do something like that because I've seen women do some really fucked up shit behind, you know, their feelings and all that. Not to say that men do stupid, cr crazy, corny shit too behind their feelings. This is going to get crazy. Um, like I said, I don't think that he did it. I don't want an innocent person to go to jail. Any, like, it doesn't matter. I don't want an innocent person to go to jail, you know. And um, we'll see what happens, man. This is going to be real interesting. They're saying that Kris Jenner, um, Kim Kardashian's mom's, her her husband, or I don't know if it's her fiance or her husband, he's going to be called as an eyewitness too. So, like I said, this all happened at a pool party at Kylie's house. You can imagine the celebrities and everybody that was there, all the fucking crazy people, all the A-listers that were there. Um, so, it, it's going to get real, real graphic. It's going to get real crazy. We should be hearing a lot of crazy details within the next couple of weeks behind this trial. And, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think, man, because this is going to be crazy. This is a real, like... This is the first, I would say, hip-hop trial, if I could remember. I'm not saying that it's the first, you know, Snoop Dogg was on trial, but I'm saying these are two hip-hop artists at trial against each other. Megan Thee Stallion is the, is the quote-unquote victim in this trial, and Tory Lanez is the, 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 the aggressor, the defendant, whatever you want to call him. This is the first time. Usually it's, you know, Snoop Dogg and, you know, he, he got into a case, a murder case, and he was the defendant and all that stuff. We've seen this shit time and time again. But we've never seen two actual rappers going against each other at a big, big trial. This isn't a fucking trial over, you know, money and none of this shit. Tory Lane stands to lose the better part of his life if he loses. And if they, they can give him 20 plus years behind this shit. So these, the stakes are as high as they could be. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I said I don't want nobody to go to jail behind some bullshit. Especially if they are, they're innocent. I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to wait to see what the facts of the case bring out and all this stuff. But as of right now, my opinion, my 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 things, my thought was always that Tory Lanez didn't do it. Um, Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Y'all do y'all own due diligence. See what y'all find. You know, think... Maybe you guys feel different. If you feel different and, you know, whatever, leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know how y'all see this case unfolding. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, much love and respect to everybody. And until the next time, peace.